Hey everybody, we're just hanging out, enjoying the beautiful weather and views out here in Carmel, California. Guess what, we got a surprise, not only for us, but for you as well. So it might be the most beautiful place in the world to go camping, definitely one of the best in the United States. It's called Big Sur, California. Two nights glamping, it's gonna be epic. Never done anything like this before. I want you to stay tuned. We just got gas, ice, and we're all ready to rock and loaded. You ready to roll? Ready. Let's get this. Spotted a mountain lion. Wasn't prepared, man. I wasn't ready for a big old kitty cat. <laughs> Made a little hike down from the campsite. Big Sur Bakery, and these are the goodies we got. Just south of the world famous 17 mile drive from Carmel by the Sea to Big Sur, California. We begin our journey. Real quick guys, if you're new here, I'm Rachel. And I'm Eli, and this is our adventure cat, Sarah. For the last few months, we have been living and traveling the country in our SUV. We didn't plan to go to Big Sur, but sometimes life gives you unexpected opportunities, like camping in the Redwoods. Hey, thanks for being here. If you'd like to further support us and what we do, we have some links below. Now let's get back to land roaming. Big Sur is a dramatic, rugged stretch of coastline located between Carmel and San Simeon. Heading south to the east of your drive is the Santa Lucia Mountains and to the west, the Pacific Ocean. Also, the coastal redwood forest, the Big Sur River, and the Panoramic beaches offer much to be explored. From Carmel, it took us about 45 minutes to an hour to get to our destination in Big Sur. The drive was truly magical and otherworldly and really put in perspective the beauty we have right here in the States. But we have a ride. We made it to our tent. Hey guys, we finally made it out here in uh, Big Sur. It's beautiful. So we got to our campsite. We're just getting all set up and we just want to let you guys know that we're here and stay, stay tuned for the rest of the stuff. Get it. Call us biased, but I'm pretty sure we got the best tent at the best spot with the biggest trees. Here are some different views of our campsite as we get all ready and set up for the evening. Oh, 
all the woods kept it on real good. It's red oak straight from here. They saw some they the ones that were falling down, you know? So it's just amazing. And the propane fire. Lovely. Don't have to work so hard. And as we enter the beautiful clean tent of the glamping. I don't know about you, but this is straight luxury in the wilderness. Guys, we even have running water in a barrel. We get a lot of questions about how we keep stay safe while traveling. I will link a little video down below that we've made explaining more, but I will say the top two things we utilize are her expandable backpack bag and an Apple AirTag. We do have these items and more linked in our Amazon store if you're interested. Look guys, I know, a lot of tree clips, but I love trees. Hey guys, I don't know if you can see Sarah over there, but she's just hanging out doing her thing. We finally made it to our tent camp in Big Sur. We're super stoked and get super excited to start getting some real nice views in and taking these crisp, beautiful air between these redwood trees. I mean, look at them, they're huge, they're vast, and like they're actually blanketing out the sunlight. And it's just, it's phenomenal. Um... We're gonna enjoy the fire, eat some dinner, and we will catch you guys in the morning. Have a good night. As the sun fades and the darkness falls, little did we know we were being watched. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, well, guess who went to go pee outside and spotted a mountain lion? Never are they spotted here. When we came here, didn't even wasn't even worried. Like we're glamping at a nice resort at a nice spot in Big Sur. And of course, from California, so you don't bring out your guns. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably cut that out, but yeah, they said some. Only one's been spotted here, but you girl had to go pee, and guess who saw a big cat sitting out there with glowy eyes. Big glowy eyes. Big glowy eyes. So now we're just sitting in here, like, shaking a little bit, and we have no protection except for a knife, and we're wishing that the car was closer. But we'll figure it out and get there in the morning. We just, like, <laughs> I wasn't prepared, man. I wasn't ready for a big old kitty cat. But Yeah, we're not going outside at night. So you know, the next morning I had to go out and just check out and just look for some tracks and stuff like that and didn't really find anything. Really... Nothing really disturbed, but we know what we saw and just gonna keep going through our day.
don't know if you can tell, but right through that road, right in the middle, about less than 50 yards, is where we saw the long golden body and giant eyes of a mountain lion, which we are told they have only seen one or very few. So I know, I know, always be filming, tuber code, till I drop the ball. So this is where we sit here today and tell the story. We were, we were literally right here coming out to go to the restroom and the clip I just saw you walking down there, you shine the lights and like I said, the whole elongated body, golden color, giant eyes, just sitting out there. Didn't seem like it was uh, threatening or it was uh, wanting to harm anything. I think he was just used to being people in this area and there's no one in these other four uh, glamping tents over here. So basically, we were just here and I think it was just checking us out because I said like for the rest of the night, obviously I was cautious and all these things, but, uh, and yes, we would normally have weapons or something to protect ourselves, but we are in California and there are certain laws you have to respect. Also public property of a hotel. So we did the best we could over the night, but we're doing good. We're feeling solid. Uh, and we're pretty much just gonna get ready for the rest of the day and why don't you stay tuned. Are you ready for coffee time? Coffee. Coffee time. Ready. Good morning, everybody. We just woke up, had a little chat about our big cat encounter last night. Uh, we're just enjoying the sunrise, and we're going to do coffee, head into town, and grab some protein, uh, maybe a little dessert, and then come back here and spend the day. Found a baby redwood tree in the picnic table, so I'm going to plant it. And then maybe it'll grow up to one of these. I haven't gotten the the real kettle pot that does it right for the real pour over for all you coffee drinkers out there I understand this is super sacrilege it looks horrible how we're doing it it clumps up but we got to make it happen and I want good quality coffee so
this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. We made our little hike down from the campsite. We're in the car. We're gonna head into town. There's only one grocery store, so guess what? We're gonna go check it out. And get ready. the bathhouses to be continued. As we were leaving the campsite and going through the campground, we decided to stop and look at one of the biggest, most beautiful trees on the property. Bakery. So we're out here at the, the Big Sur Bakery and these are the goodies we got today. Two chocolate croissants and two of the fresh chocolate chip cookies. So for tonight after our delicious dinner. Dessert. Let's go. General store. in the car she's just over here getting the sun We're gonna go on a little nature walk, find some sun and water. Yeah, a little coconut water. Watch <laughs> out. We both are water babies through and through. Um, this whole redwood forest is scattered with beautiful streams and creeks. So, we're gonna show you some.
that wasn't a big old spider web. It was a rock and the light was shining on it. They're almost like a hundred feet tall. Coming from a small town Tennessee girl, I never imagined myself to actually get to walk amongst these ancient giants. Redwood trees, also known as coast redwood or sequoia trees, are found on the coast from the dramatic southwest corner of Oregon south to Big Sur, California. Redwoods grow naturally here in this climate of thick fog, moderate year-round temperatures, and a good amount of rainfall. Some redwoods have been measured at over 350 feet in height, making it the tallest measured tree on earth. I made it back to camp. Eli went ahead a little bit to check on Saya. And we're gonna eat our deli sandwiches that we got earlier and relax a little bit. Good We're making a fire right now. We're gonna enjoy the breeze. It is 63 degrees here in Big Sur. Um, cloudy. We got like rays of sun coming in. It's beautiful. Uh, we can hear the water rushing all around us. So we're gonna enjoy nature and each other. And the campfire and these big beautiful trees. Hello. All the skeeters. All these skeeters. Hopefully we get a shot of the skeeters tonight because those skeeters were. Okay, I've seen big skeeters before. These were like monsters. Skeeters. <laughs> Can't tell how big that thing is, but that thing right there is Jurassic Park size mosquito. Compared to the wood, see that? If you guys follow us on Instagram, you might have seen this little cast iron pot that we got from my grandma and granddad's house that had been tucked away for years and years and years, extremely rusty. And we have been working on restoring it for quite a while. I um, think we finally got it. Let me show you. P.S. If you don't follow us on Instagram, do that. Or Facebook because we post a lot there also. On the second round of the fire burning. <laughs> it was very rusty um, when we found it. So we did the one-to-one -one ratio um, vinegar bath. And it didn't really seem like that did too much. But I think deep down it did. Um, so we've just been wire brushing it gently. And I think all the rust is off. We're burning it off. And then doing like an oil coat. Maybe another burn and then an oil coat. But it's looking really good. Also, do you guys see that? Mm -hmm. That's mine because I got sprouts, and that is yours.
So we just want to let you guys all know we're enjoying our deli sandwiches. The reason why we're having deli sandwiches, not only is it fresh, handmade right in front of you, it's local. And we decide we're in Big Sur and we're glamping. So we're not going to be cooking. We always cook. We can cook anytime. But we're enjoying the local yeah. food. The Big Sur and all the delicious items we've had so far, the beautiful scenery, the crisp air, and the friendly locals as well. Mmm. Delicious. Creamy, good mm. crunch, mm. and plenty, plenty of protein. Mm. They put mayonnaise on both sides. I'm happy. Mm. Normally they do just a little white. No. They loaded it. Joe chips, sour cream and toasted onion. As long as your kettle cook, I'm all about it. Mm. So good. All right, guys, we're gonna enjoy the rest of our dinner and crack into some dessert. And right before bed, we'll see what we're gonna get into. And if not, we'll let you know. Here comes Saya. <laughs> you good girl? All right, guys, thank you for watching the first part of our video. We're going to have the second part of our video coming up shortly, so stay tuned and get ready.